This is the pre-calculus functions quiz from section 1.1, version C. Okay, so number one, we're given f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5, and g of x is equal to x minus 6. So first, we're, at, we're asked to find fg. So remember, fg is just the same thing as saying f times g, or it's just without the f of x, but it means f of x times g of x. Okay, so this is just something to remember when we're operating with functions. Um, and now all we do is need to do substitute in f of x and g of x. So we have 3x squared minus 5 and x minus 6. Okay, remember that these both go in parentheses because we want to distribute everything across. We can use the box method, we can use FOIL, we can use any method you would like. And then we get 3x sorry 3x cubed minus 18x squared minus 5x plus 30 okay and we combined all like terms so this is our answer in simplified form okay so next we're asked to look for f of g of x and remember this is the composition of functions the input to f is a function g of x okay so remember that we, this all that means is the input to a function f is g of x. So we, we substitute g of x with x minus 6. And now the input to our function f is now x minus 6. So anytime we see this x, we're going to put x minus 6 instead. So we have 3, and then we have x minus 6, quantity squared, minus 5. Okay. And this, again, is just x minus 6 times x minus 6, which if we um, distributed, we would get x squared minus 12x plus 36. Don't forget the minus 5. Then we want to distribute the 3 in to all of the terms. We have 3x squared minus 36x plus 108. Don't forget the minus 5. And we can com combine like terms is our last step. And we get 103. Okay, so this is our answer in simplified terms. Okay, so remember that this was just the composition of functions. Okay, so the last part in number one was asking the inverse function of x. Remember that when we have a negative one here, so if we have f and negative one, it's not the power of negative one, it means inverse function inverse function inverse function okay and all that means is remember we have to wrap and unwrap function f so here is function f we don't care about part function g in this part function f um, how was it wrapped to begin with so we know we start with y is equal to x that's where we start and then what do we do next to create this function well we our next step would be to square x our next step after that is to multiply it by 3. And our final step is to subtract 5. Right, we're just subtracting 5 from what's above. Okay. So that's how our function f was created. Now to un... Oops. Let me undo that. Let me fix this. Okay, so to undo our function or to unwrap it, we need to start with y is equal to x, and then we're going backwards because we want to do the opposite of everything we did to begin with. So starting with y equals x, we want to do the opposite of subtract 5, so we just want to say x now plus 5. Okay, what's the opposite of multiply by 3? Well, we want to say whatever's underneath, x plus 5, divide by 3. And what's the opposite of squaring something? Well, again, we look at what's underneath. We do the opposite of, we, we write that, and we do the opposite of square is square root. Okay, and then we're back to the start. That means this is our inverse function. So we go up here and say the inverse function of f is equal to the square root of x plus 5 divided by 3. And remember, the square root goes all around this expression here. 
It's not just in the numerator, it's not just in the denominator, we're not just the square root of x, we square root the whole thing before it, right? So it's the square root of everything. Make sure the square root sign is as low as the 3 and covers all of our expression. Okay, this ends number one on the functions quiz, version C.